to our second lecture on cell theory. Feel free to motivate us by subscribing to this YouTube channel Academia, Academic World, so that we continue to make useful video for natural sciences and applied sciences. In this video we will discuss the limitations of cell theory. Cell theory is a biological hypothesis that states that all beings are made up of cells, that cells are the basic structural organizational unit of all organisms, and that all cells originate from pre-existing cells. It was first proposed in the mid-19th century. Cells are the fundamental building blocks of all creatures, as well as the basic unit of reproduction. The three scientists that contributed to the development of cell theory are Matthias Schleiden, Theodor Schwann, and Rudolf Virchow. The cell theory composed of three components which are stated as 1. All living things are composed of one or more cells. 2. A component of the cell theory is that the cell is the basic unit of life. 3. A component of the cell theory is that all new cells arise from existing cells. This cell theory have some flaws or disadvantages. Flaws or disadvantages are their limitations which we'll discuss. The limitation of this cell theory is 1. Scientists have remained with the question, where did the first cell come from? Since cell comes for pre-existing cells, now scientists don't know where the first cell came from, there is where God steps in, our maker, who is beyond human understanding. The other limitations are 1. Viruses. Viruses are considered as cellular entities or organisms that lack cell machinery, they are not made of cells, although they are included in this cell theory as organisms. 2. The mechanics of the Celtic knot was unknown to Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann. 3. The body structure of a few animals is not fully differentiated into cells, despite the presence of multiple nuclei coenocytes, such as rhizopus. Without a proper nucleus, RBCs and sieve tube cells can live and function. 4. The cell theory does not apply to prokaryotic cells since they lack a well-defined nucleus. Viruses come alive when in a cell, but viruses are not made of cells.